van life, it's great. But when you're living in tight quarters, you're gonna have to have some space for your things. So today, we're building some drawers. Finally today, we're at the bit I'm really excited about. I'm installing these drawers. I have these runners. They're quite heavy. I'm just gonna line them up using this board and that will help me know that everything's nice and straight. Let's go for it. These instructions are pretty hilarious. They've given two steps. First step, install the outer rail. Second step, install the drawer. Problem is there's screws in the outer rail and I've got no idea how you actually release the mechanism to get to those screws. Who needs a manual anyway? All right, I've figured it out. There's a little hole in here, I'll show you. You can actually access the screws through that hidden hole as it slides. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try figure out just there. I got really lucky here. Let me show you what's going on. See this? I thought there'd be heaps of space. Let me show you what happens when I shut the door. That is very close. These blocks I'm going to put underneath. I'll pull the drawer out halfway and then I should be able to screw that side. Should be able to pull it out further and keep on screwing. Should work. So I have a little problem. This drawer is just a bit sticky towards the end. I have a solution though and it's gonna waste my time, but I'm just gonna do it. I haven't actually built the second drawer yet. Uh, that's almost ready to be constructed. So instead I'm gonna move this drawer into this cavity. And for the second drawer, I'm actually just gonna trim it down literally a few millimeters. And that's all it should take to make sure it's not sticky anymore. So this side will be actually slightly smaller than the other side. Well, I'm excited. I have some drawers. Check this out. I could do this all day. So I'll be putting faces on these very soon to make them look a little bit cleaner and um, it'll cover up all this stuff. Uh, should look really nice. I'm getting really excited about it. Installing under here is a pain, not just figuratively, like I literally keep on hitting my head. So I'm going to start wearing this beanie because I'm hoping this beanie will help protect my head. Oh gosh. Let's figure this out. <laughs> I've realized the it's a noisy bird. I've realized the screw that I drilled through the wall has gone far too deep because of course it's a very thin wall. So what I'm doing is I'm putting little strips on the back of the wall uh, and these strips are going to hide the screws as they go through, which should um, mean that 
you know, it's thick enough for the screws to fit. It's what you get when you get cheap things. I just missed the bit where we got it in there, but we got it in there and we've been lining things up. Right. Bumped my head, but more than that, look at that wobble. And I just don't think that's going to be strong enough because anyone could lean on this and it's just not going to support well enough. I have put the support underneath and it's clearly not designed for that. I'm going to need to take it off and put the support over here. Uh, but it's going to be a bit of a complex job because things aren't straight in there. And when things aren't straight, well, you've got to make them straight. Mm -hmm. 